uh, we live in a time, in certainly in the West, where uh, people don't conform. Uh, we have been taught to speak up and to assert ourselves and to not let anybody else uh, uh, tell us how to, what to believe. There are a lot of cultures in which conf everybody conforming and everybody fitting in, that's the cultural value. That is not our cultural value. Because of that, um, it's true that there are just all sorts of angry, sometimes, uh, certainly assertive uh, points of view being pushed out there. That's true about everything, though, absolutely everything. So in our culture, uh, whether you're talking about the Bible, but whether you're talking about uh, even atheism, for example, atheists are constantly arguing. There's all sorts of atheisms, and they get very, very angry with each other. Does that mean atheism is wrong necessarily because there's a lot of divergent views and because people use atheism to justify all sorts of different kinds of behavior? No. Now, I, I think atheism is wrong, but it's not wrong because there's that diversity. It's not wrong because there's that debate going on. And therefore, you can't just say, oh, well, the Bible, you know, you can't, there's no way to ever understand what the Bible is saying because look at all the different diversities of, of viewpoint. What you're really saying, if that's your argument, is that nobody can know anything. But then how can you know that? And how can you be so sure about that? And how can you, in a sense, pontificate to people who do believe the Bible and say, well, nobody can really understand the Bible. Nobody can be sure about it. Why? How, how can you be that sure? In the end, that argument explodes. In the end, that argument undermines itself. It doesn't really work.